So in this short video, I'm going to describe the process that we use within our international accreditation program. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about the three products that we provide. So we offer three accreditation programs. And again, we only accredit the accreditors. We can accredit your organization, we can accredit your standards, and we can accredit your surveyor training program. And hopefully, ultimately, we will accredit all three. We do ask that you're actually working in the health or social care sector and providing some kind of accreditation, regulatory or certification services and that you have your standards accredited first, followed by your organisation and maybe thirdly your surveyor training programme. We use the same process generally for all three programmes and it's tried and tested for the last number of years. It's used by all the experts in the field. And namely, there is a set of standards at the core of everything we do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give you a set of standards to self-assess yourselves against. I would recommend that you take at least 10 months to do the self-assessment. This is a really important part of any accreditation programme whereby you systematically look at the services you provide, look at your business functions, look at the products that you provide and identify, remember identify the areas that you're good in and identify the areas that you need to improve in. So then that self-assessment is sent in to us in ISQA along with your standards and the evidence that you give us that will help us to make our decision around the award. We will then get a team of surveyors, depending on the size of your organisation or the product that you've applied for, to look at all of your evidence, to look at your standards and to come up with a report and recommendations that will help you to improve. And it's this report and recommendations that actually form the basis of how we decide will you become accredited or not. Now it's not just the surveyors that help make this decision, it then goes on to a second panel, what we call our validation panel, two more experts. They actually look at your report and your recommendations. They make sure that we're consistent and fair. And then the third process along the award continuum is our board accreditation committee. And they're the ultimate group of people that decide on your accreditation status. We then send you back the final report and award, but it doesn't finish there. It's a continuous quality improvement process. It, it spans over four years, and we need to make sure that you comply with your accreditation standards throughout the full four years. So we're going to ask you to submit a report at 12 months post-survey, and then a second report at 30 months post-survey. We will give you feedback on that report so that you continuously um, look at your services and ways to improve them. And then at 30 months post-survey, you really should be doing self-assessment again. If you would like to know any more, please contact us.